Hi, my name is Abram. I'm with the ServerMonkey.com team, and today I'm going to show you how to install a cable management arm on the back of a DL370 G6 server. Cable management and organization is a big hassle for server technicians, but it's a must-have in most cases where companies are worried about the appearance of their data centers. Every cable management arm will be different. Some mount to the chassis, some mount to the rail. You can see the mount point here and the mount point here. Uh, but this, this method will work with most servers. First you'll attach this bracket to the left rail. Make sure that firmly snaps into place. And then you'll attach the second part of the cable management arm to the peg on the back of the server. And then you'll attach the locking bracket which connects the two parts of the arm. And once you mount the arm you want to give it a good, good shake to make sure it's in place and sturdy. Now that we've got the CMA in place, we can run our network cables. So you always want to keep your network cables and your power cords separate from each other as the power cords can actually cause interference with your networking. With your networking cables in place, you can now pull the server forward without pulling loose any of your network ports. Now you know how to install a CMA on the back of your server to better organize and manage your cables. If you have any more questions, feel free to visit us on the web. You can also follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.